Hi, it's Anya from Divi Lover. I would like to show you how to use Divi template hooks to display any layout saved in Divi library as a global footer. So this is just a sample page and I've created a footer section and normally if you'd like to use uh, the same footer built with Divi Builder for different pages you would save your section as a global section and then add it to each page you create but that uh, method won't work for uh, blog posts for example for your blog pages category pages these aren't accessible uh, by the Divi Builder as of yet so let me show you uh, how we can easily uh, add this section here. First step is to save uh, our layout in the DV library. And now we need to check uh, what is this layout ID. You see this is the global footer I just saved here. And uh, when I go to edit it, you'll see in the uh, address bar of the browser, there is uh, a number here. And this is the ID of our post. We're going to need that in a moment. Uh, and we are going to add a function to our functions PHP file. So I will go to Appearance Editor and I'm going to edit functions PHP file. First a comment that this will be a global footer and I will add a function I will call it DB Lover Global Footer. And I will hook this function to an DV's action hook, which is called ET after main content. And we, sorry, and we want to add our DB Lover global footer here. Okay, so that's a start, but right now this function is empty. So we want to display a layout saved in a library. And there is a short code for that. We'll add this short code. And as you see, it's missing the ID of a layout. So I will copy my ID and add this here. Oh, we need semicolon at the end. And that looks good. Let me update this file. And now let's check our blog page. Yay! <laughs> so as you can see this section has been added to every page of our website. On our sample page it will probably be twice so I just need to remove it uh, from the page content. And that's it! We didn't need to overwrite any uh, template files like footer PHP uh, and make sure you check out all the other available hooks that are listed on Elegant Themes documentation page. That's very useful. You can use this method to add uh, headers and different content in different places of your website. So you can download this layout 
from my blog post and copy the code I used from there as well. Thanks for watching. Next time I will show you how to use conditional logic to display different layouts on different pages. See you next time.